Last month, Republican presidential candidate Michelle Bachman came under fire because her family business, a counseling clinic run by her husband, was shown to have collected more than $137,000 in annual payments from Medicaid, a federal program the Tea Party favorite has strongly criticized. Tonight, that clinic is at the center of a different controversy, and ABC's Brian Ross has investigated. Brian? Cynthia, long before she became a presidential candidate, Michelle Bachman was well known to the religious right. But now as a national figure, we're learning a lot more about her and her husband and the business that has been the family's principal source of income. On the campaign trail, Michelle Bachman tells supporters her husband Marcus has been the key to their 33 years of happy marriage. I have a, a, a very big advantage because Marcus has his Ph.D. in counseling and he's a marriage counselor. But Dr. Bachman's brand of counseling is highly controversial and could become a campaign issue. Here's my husband, Dr. Marcus Bachman. <laughs> Operating out of suburban Minneapolis. Dr. Bachman runs a Christian counseling firm, co-owned with his wife Michelle, that at times, according to former patients, has tried to convert gay men into heterosexuals through Christian prayer. You know, I could be straight and, you know, God would forgive me if I was straight. Andrew Ramirez of Minneapolis was 17 when his family sent him to Bachman and Associates, where, he says, a counselor working for Bachman tried unsuccessfully to save him from his sin. I remember leaving that parking lot with my mom and I said, you know, mom, I'm gay. I do not think this is something that can be changed. In an interview with a Christian radio outlet, Dr. Bachman has described homosexuals as barbarians. It, it is as if we have to understand barbarians need to be educated. They need to be um, disciplined. And just because someone feels it or thinks it doesn't mean that we're supposed to go down that road. But when a Minneapolis paper claimed five years ago the Bachman Clinic was trying to convert gays to straights, he called it a false statement. Now, undercover video shot just last month inside the clinic by a gay advocacy group, Truth Wins Out seems to show some form of the practice is indeed offered to patients. Yeah, you're, you're in the midst of a storm, you know, you're in the midst of a battle. The video was made by a member of the group, John Becker. I had two cameras. Uh, the first was in my, my bag right here through this little pinhole, and the second was on a wristwatch. Becker told the clinic of feelings towards men and depression and asked if he could be rid of his homosexual urges through therapy and prayer. I think it's possibly totally for you. He could cure your homosexuality? Yes. Is that what he said? Yes, he did. He said it several times. He said it is, that change is possible. He's, he's seen it. He believes that, that full change from homosexual to heterosexual is possible. The truth is God, God has designed, designed our eyes to be attracted to the, woman, to the woman's body. Sure. To be attracted to, you know, everything, you know. In the office, Becker also took a picture of a stack of books written by a self-proclaimed ex-lesbian, Janet Boynes, who in a promotional video for the book claimed she was able to cure her homosexuality through God. I believe God was always present in my life and by my side, calling my name even though I was trapped in the sin. And on the wall behind the stack of books was a personal endorsement from Dr. Bachman recommending her book and saying that she that her book spoke to truths that could set people free. Becker attended five sessions at the Bachman Clinic, charged about seventy-three dollars for each visit. Each session began and ended with a prayer. The American Psychological Association has told members the idea of converting gays through therapy and prayer, called reparative therapy, is both ineffective and potentially harmful. Efforts to pray away sexual orientation from the evidence we've seen are unlikely to be effective. Now that's not to say that people can't change their behavior or even change their identity, but changing their sexual orientation, changing that deep part of them about who they're attracted to, which emerges spontaneously in adolescence without choice, we have not seen any evidence that such therapies or such religious practices change that. The group that made the undercover video said it shows that the Bachmans have not been forthcoming about what actually happens inside the family business. 
I think this tape shows irrefutably that at Bachman Associates they do reparative therapy, which is trying to basically pray away the gay. Asked about our ABC News report at a campaign appearance today in Thank Iowa, Michelle Bachman said it was not something Americans were interested in, but defended the family clinic. I'm running for the presidency of the United States, and I'm here today to talk about job creation and also the fact that we do have a business that deals with job creation. We're very proud of the business that we created. In a statement to ABC News, the campaign said the Bachman's Clinic provides a variety of services, but that because of patient confidentiality, it could not comment on any specific treatment, including the so-called gay-the-straight therapy.